Hi, Canada for the fans. It's Raz Quinn from Cardiff. Um, they say a week's a long time in football. <laughs> it seems to be getting even, even longer when you're an Arsenal fan. So, a bit of a Jack on Hyde um, appearance, attitude. We had the win against Rapid Vienna on Thursday. And all things pointing, going back home with our match against Leicester. So without further ado, Alex, if you care to run the titles. Okay, sorry for a long pause, but it's just, it is what it is, isn't it guys? It is what it is. Okay, let's take it segment by segment. So Arsenal, versus Rapid Vienna, or Rapid Vienna versus Arsenal, because it was the away fixture of the Europa League. Um, it seems to be a constant theme that the only time we seem to get going is when somebody scores. Now, I was very optimistic with the game. I, was, I felt that we would be able to take to task Rapid Vienna. Um, it was a bit of a strange match. Um, we didn't get going, and then, oh, horror upon horror, uh, Leno trying to play the ball out, um, mixed up with our defender, and everyone's pointing, looking at, at each other, but it was a cheap goal, and he nearly did it again the second time, and questions were going to be asked because we're thinking, we're trying to move forward, but then when a mistake like this happens, we always look about our past goalkeeper and whether he would have done that. Um, I was one of the, the, the same fans that wished that um, Martinez stayed with us, but of course he wanted to leave. He's gone to Aston Villa and weirdly enough, they lost three now against Leeds. So strange, strange things. Anyway, guess who came to the rescue? David Luiz. <laughs> I didn't think I would say that. Um, David Luiz scored the equaliser. And thankfully, we managed to put the game to bed with uh, Aubameyang scoring the second. And I was hoping that he would kick on because his, his form since he signed the thing has been lacking. However, Jack on Hyde. Jack on Hyde personas with this team. So we were playing against Leicester and we all know that Vardy likes to party. Well, we had our own party, but party didn't get involved. He wanted to. And for as long as the match went on, first and foremost, my thoughts about VAR is it, it's a good idea to have when it works. When it doesn't work, how they could have ruled that first goal, I, I'm still puzzled. And whether it's a conspiracy, whether it's just the fact that maybe all the officials are ex-Tottenham fans or Tottenham players, I don't know what it is. But we don't get the rub of the green, which is really, really sad. Okay, but there was a second chance that Lacazette should have buried and um, when you don't take your chances you get punished and we all know we all know that regardless of the defense is shaky or not shaky midfield not playing so they should play in midfield <sighs> Vardy came on in the 80th minute and it's a smash and grab and I, I pulled out that Mustafa was to blame because Gabriel pointed to him to say to him he had to run, go with his runner, and he didn't. He decided to look at the sky, look at everything else, rather than look at the danger man. And here we are. We lost three games in our first six matches. How are we going to turn this around? I don't know, to be honest. But it's a learning curve. We have to see 
matches out and we're at home we play like we were away we have to change the mentality the players have to start stepping up to the responsibilities certain distractions have to be removed and this team has to move forward okay my segment's pretty much over if you like what we do on can tv please subscribe touch the notification button so you get the latest updates Alex has been doing sterling work with Dave and uh, Monty, our moderators. And we've got great merchandise as well. But we've got another match in Dundalk. Let's take a match at a time because we've also got another match against Man United as well. And with this current form, we need to change. Okay, Raz, back to bounce. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Raz Quinn from the Emirates in the press media section for Canon Fodder TV. Not breaking news, Emirates news.